And there we go. That was us getting the mysterious messenger for the continuation of the Defias Brotherhood quest. I did take us out to Lakeshire. One of you guys let me know that it was important that we get that done soon. Follow the fetch quest back and do this so that we can finish the chain and open up the quest that leads into the dead mines. And yeah, at some point today we will be level 19 and I plan on doing the dead mines, so I've been trying to focus on getting this done. As you saw, we had a big old group together for it of people who were standing at the spawn point waiting for it to pop back up. I also did a little fetch quest in Stormwind talking to a gnome. And they also had a quest for us to go into the dead mines. So we already have the one quest. Pretty soon we will be picking up a second quest. And the thing to remember about that is that we're going to get bonus experience from those quests that are dungeon quests. I think on top of the 40% we're getting for quest in general. So that is going to be good. I don't know if this is going to chain another time. Uh, I think we maybe we have to escort somebody. I remember there being some kind of escort quest. So I'm going to kind of stick this group out here and see if that's the case. Maybe we can all just tackle it together. Uh, before we drop group and end up needing more assistance. Also worked on alchemy, got that leveled up a bit. You see we now have the minor agility well potion here on our bar. This is indeed firm proof that Van Cleef is in charge. Now all we need to know is where the Defias gang is hiding out. Light bless you. Ah, uh, that didn't chain into anything, which is a little weird. Let me double check. Hmm, well that's strange. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. Uh, I'm kind of worried that it's like the escort quest that we ran into over in Lakhmadan where the guy spawns and only one group can do it at a time. That would be pretty unfortunate if that's how this is set up. And one of you guys let me know that there were some quests to do over at a lighthouse in southwestern Westfall, and I vaguely remember doing these way too late on my human priest back in the day. Maybe we'll head over there now. Uh, this... This, I'm not sure if this is going anywhere or not. Like I said, I remember escorting a Defias trader, and I did see some folks running off with that NPC, but... It's not there right now, so it really might be that same case where you have to catch it while the NPC is there. And if another player or another group takes it, you're stuck waiting. Uh, the problem with waiting is that there's no guarantee that at the end of it, you're going to get the next pop-up. So, I I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. Or maybe that'll be one of those quests that kind of falls by the wayside. Uh, we'll have to check a few more times to see if we can pick anything else up over there. But for now, let's head down to the southwest here. And check out these quests over at the lighthouse. Shouldn't be too long until we hit level 19. I did pick up every single quest over in Red Ridge when I was there, so we have a lot of stuff to do. It runs the gamut from green all the way to red. This Dry Times, we already have the Keg of Thunderbrew. We got that from the Dwarf in the north part of Westfall when we turned in the hops. So that's done. We need Merlot from Stormwind, Moonshine from Darkshire, and the Sweet Rum, I think, is from Goldshire. So we could do all that. We'll have to run into Darkshire, which we're not really at level to quest in, but running down there to get to the town shouldn't be that hard. We could we can actually run down from Elwyn Forest. Uh, if we run down over here, we can just run right down to Darkshire. Let's avoid pulling all of these Flesh Rippers. 
So yeah, I'm going to do all that running around for that quest on my own. I won't subject you guys to all that. But I do want to get that done soon because it is green, so I'm kind of worried about losing it. Same thing with a free lunch. We got to get over to Guard Parker, bring him this lunch from his love interest in town. And see what he wants us to do. That's probably going to be the first things that we tackle over in Red Ridge. And we had previously seen like a lockbox at the Alexton farmstead, I think it was. And one of you guys told me that was a quest that started in the Cathedral Square. I went there and somebody has a quest, but we're not at level for it yet. Maybe I'll go back and check at level 19. It was one of the... One of the brothers, one of the guys in white robes standing by the fountain. And he had a quest that we'd eventually be able to get, but I couldn't pick it up yet. So I don't know if that was the quest or if it was something inside the cathedral. Granted, I didn't look around inside the cathedral, so I probably should have done that. Alright, Westfall Lighthouse. Yeah, I didn't know about this place until sometime last year when I brought my priest out here. It's one of those locations that, you know, has been in the game for 17 years, but that you've never seen. And it has a ghost on it. And he's got a bunch of quests. The, these are the quests we were missing when I when I said that I felt like we had quests in Westfall that we didn't do. It's probably these. The night the Lighthouse Keeper's family died was horrible. I watched helpless as old Murkai led the attack. But what's done is done, and now my concern is for the lives of the sailors on the Great Sea whose ships come close to the perilous rocks of the coastline. With no one to keep watch on the flame, the responsibility has fallen upon me. Five flasks of oil from the Harvest Monsters. We had so many of these flasks of oil that I've been selling. The coast isn't clear. You probably noticed all the shipwrecks along the coast. The Great Sea is treacherous indeed. The coast of Westfall needs to be kept clear so that if sailors find their way to our beaches, they are safe. The Murlocs are trouble, though. Kill a bunch of Murlocs. Tide hunters, warriors, oracles, coast runners. Whew. Jeez. And Coastal Menace. When my life was ended upon the rocks, I had no clue what the afterlife held for me. <laughs> well, now we all know what the afterlife holds, unfortunately. It's called the Shadowlands. The lighthouse was black that night because old Murkai had scared the Keeper's family off. They returned and relit the flame, but old Murkai coerced the weaker-minded Murlocs to raid the lighthouse with him once again. The second time the family was not so lucky, and before my eyes they perished helplessly. Slay old Murkai. You see him along the shore and bring me one of his scales, and I shall reward you. Okay. What level are these? These are all yellow quests still. Kind of assuming we can just start running north along the coast here to find the Murlocs and maybe find Murkai? But well, we'll give a look around and see what we find. I think this is a good time to try out our gun. I want to keep trying to pull them back, I would really rather not fight them underwater. They can swim so much faster than we can run if they choose to do that.
And yeah, we obviously need to be careful out here because these guys are kind of wailing on us a little bit. We'll pop some of our potions, maybe that will help some. Uh, for now, oh yeah, I worked on first aid also, so we learned wool bandage finally. That's going to help immensely as far as our self-healing goes. And just keeping us moving more smoothly from combat to combat. Yeah, we'll be careful with these guys. They're level 18 and 19, and they seem to hit rather hard. Uh, we got two of them. I, I'm not going to fight two of them. That's the thing. Maybe I can keep one. We missed. Let's try again. We missed again. Missed again. There we go. There's the bleed. And now we're frozen. Perfect. Yeah, we're gonna die here like this. This was a very bad idea. So Westfall continues to be a huge pain point. That's good to know. Uh, I'm not sure why I've had so much trouble in Westfall. Some of you guys have shared similar experiences. But yeah, I was kind of hoping these quests would be green, so that it would be something that we missed, that we were supposed to already have done and be a little bit easier for us. Uh, that's not going to be the case. And looking at how many... Oh, this is one of those things I, I'd love to just have a group for this. When you're talking about killing, like, what is this going to be? 28? 28 enemies that are fairly difficult and they all run? Yeah. That's something that could really use a group. Maybe we can move further up the coast and focus on ones that are on land. That added visibility will help us not pull ads. And just make it a little bit safer. I really, yeah, going into the water just seems like a really bad idea. We'll give this quest another shot. If, if these prove to be the sort of quest where we're just going to die over and over again, I'm not going to waste a lot of time on them. I do want to hit level 19 today. And spending an hour out here failing at this quest is not going to be how it gets done. I, I was just basically praying that wasn't going to be a heal. Apparently he's just going to stand back and cast at us. Didn't really expect that, but I guess he is an oracle, so I should have guessed. I don't really think that even the two of us with a pet should take this on. But that's kind of just my opinion. Yeah, like, I'm literally marking, and I would love for you to send your pet in first on X. That would be great. Not really sure exactly what's going on here with uh, X. And I wish I could figure it out. I'm gonna run away. I feel like, did one of them fall through the world? Is that, is that what's happening? Are they still hitting us? That's really the question. No, we're being hit by a poison. Let's come over here a bit. And I'm gonna bandage. I don't know if X is ever gonna come out of the ground or ever gonna drop us from combat. There we go, we're, we're dropped from combat at least. Um, yeah, let's just stay away from that. Let's stay away from that. 
we could probably keep working our way up the coast here. Or not. Um, I kind of thought there would be more up here, but I'm, I'm not seeing many. Okay, here we go. What are these? Hunters? Uh, no. No, we don't need hunters. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. Maybe this is the only area we're going to find these guys in. Uh, we don't need hunters, so that's out. I was having a lot of fun in Lakwadan, <laughs> and we had to come back to Westfall. This has definitely gone from being one of my favorite zones to being one of my least favorite. I mean, aesthetically, it's still one of my favorite, but as far as the questing experience, I have not, have not had a great time here. We need warriors and coast runners that we, we haven't seen at all. That's the other problem. Now we know shooting this guy is not going to matter. So we're not going to shoot him. We're going to have to charge him. Probably ran a little bit too far there to be effective. Well, I guess if it, it helps to pay attention to your party chat when you're grouped with somebody. Uh, something that I am obviously bad at. Uh, we've aggroed. Oh, we've aggroed you. Look at you all stealthy up there just taking the high ground on us. Alright, we've aggroed too many and now we're running. Okay, so we only need one more tide hunter, but then we need to find where the coast runners and the warriors are at. We're gonna have to head north. They can't reasonably be to the south, I don't think. I mean, we started down at the at the lighthouse, so. Oh. 
let's pull them away from this camp so when they all respawn, we don't have to take them on and probably get annihilated. And we should probably open up some of these barnacled clams because right now they're just eating up precious inventory slots. Our inventory is getting really tiny. As you can see, I bought some simple wood and some flint and tinder. Also learned fishing. We're going to have a quest out in Red Ridge that we can fish up the ingredients we need. Uh, and I've been trying to work on cooking. So cooking has gotten up to only 44. I need to get to 50 to unlock a bunch of other recipes. If you guys have low level meat and you want to mail it to me, uh, I would not object. So that might be the only way that I can effectively level my cooking. I did go back and I ground out some wolf meat uh, to get some skill ups. These are oracles, uh, hunters we don't need. This guy's probably going to aggro us if we're not careful. trying to see if I can get a target on old Murkai. I have no idea where he's at. Okay, now we've got some warriors and hunters. I'm hoping the warriors will run up to us and then the hunters are probably going to be ranged. And maybe they'll throw spears? I don't know. These warriors are level 15. That's a little bit easier to handle than a level 18. Not sure why the level discrepancy between them. And yeah, the hunter has a pet. That... That I don't like. Yeah, they have a pet and their range, so they work just like a hunter would work. Let's take out the pet first. Because that's working well. Okay, so the pets have a decent amount of health. Uh, and the hunters are level 16. Well, that was unpleasant, but we got through it. The problem is, if they get any lucky crits, if we go on a missing streak, or if we aggro anything else, then we're probably going to die. So we need to be exceedingly careful, and we all know how good I am at being careful. It's really nice to have a gun, though, and be able to pull at range. It stops us from using our charge, which is unfortunate because we have points in improved charge. So anytime we're not using it, it feels like it's not very efficient, but there's no way we can charge into this. Alright, even if these guys don't want to invite us to their party, uh, we could still use them a little bit. Uh, they can at least take some pressure off of us. 
and then we can kind of pick up whatever they don't pick up. I do want to get in here and tag this because I, I would hate for them to ooh, tag my hunter. I don't know if they would, but I'm not going to risk it. Well, this is the part where I ask myself, why have I been why have I been killing hunters? Because I don't need hunters. We actually need, and I'm sure you guys have been yelling this for a while now. Uh, we actually need post runners, and there are no more warriors here, so we're not even really working our way towards any warriors. We're about to get a bunch of ads, though. All right, so cool. We killed a bunch of hunters. Didn't need to. It's gonna be one of those days. One of those days when I should have had more coffee before I started to play. I had originally had the thought that I would do everything that we had to do in Westfall off recording since we've already spent so much time here and then at the last minute I decided to record some stuff and yeah, now I'm kind of wishing I'd have stuck to my original plan there. That kind of begs the question, like, where are the coast runners? Because <laughs> they're not the hunters. Spoiler alert. I'm getting worried that we're going to run up this entire coast and maybe not find the guys that we need. Old Merc guy is nowhere to be found. You're a hunter, you're a warrior, but what are the odds that we can actually pull you out of there? Not very good.
Yeah, we're headed all the way back up uh, to the north. Uh, hi there. Uh, you didn't seem to be on our aggro chain, but maybe I just wasn't paying attention closely enough. I don't know. I thought they were on somebody else's aggro. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find them up here. I'm just, I'm just speculating uh, that maybe we're not gonna find them up here with level 14 guys. Uh, I don't know though. We're gonna keep going just to rule it out. We're already up here, and then I'm gonna kill the recording and run all the way back to the south and see if I find any going back to the south. Uh, yeah, because now we're getting into the netters. Netters, netters, minor oracles. So yeah, this is kind of my sign that we have we have gone too far to the north here. Uh, but I'm going to figure it out and I will cut us back in when I do. And so it turns out that the coast runners are actually all the way to the north. So we came to the north, got a few of them. They're pretty farmed out right now. So I came into the fields here to work on getting our flask of oil. The good news is you can get these off of any of these harvest golems, even the level 10 ones that we can kill in a couple hits. So this has been a good relief just to come up here and do something that's a little bit easier, a little bit more in one area, less running up and down uh, for 40 minutes. So we'll get this one taken care of and then we'll head back down the coast. Hopefully by then, all the coast runners that just got annihilated by the group that went through there have respawned. Uh, if not, we'll exercise a little bit of patience. Uh, it might take us longer than ideal. But we are, we do have a full inventory, so that's also becoming kind of a huge problem here. Not really anything I want to get rid of. But I'm going to have to do something. Opening up these clams would probably be a great start. Pay attention, Robert. There we go. Uh, we were getting drops pretty quickly for a moment, but uh, that stopped. Oh, we were 5 out of 5, so we're good. I'm just not, I'm again not paying attention today. I'm convinced that I never fully woke up. Okay, let's head back down the coast here, and we're looking for four, well, five more coast runners, so. Yeah, we might be down here for a little while. They seem to only be right up at the north around this uppermost curve of the peninsula. And there's one right there. This whole place is actually crawling with murlocs. We're probably about to get a wave of respawns. The good news is they're lower level, so even if they do respawn all around us, we should be able to wreak havoc among them. And yeah, I do want to kind of hang out here for a minute. Yeah, see, they can respawn anywhere in this area. We have one over here. What do we have down here? A raider. We don't need raiders. Alright, if we were paying attention, we'd be looking this way. really wanted that coast runner. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. This is perfect. This is just what we wanted. I wouldn't mind taking out a bunch of them if some of them were actually coast runners. If we could tag some of the actual ones that we needed, that would be amazing.
Unfortunately, there's like two sets of people killing this right now. There's, there's the set of like level 12 players that are killing these guys for the, like the level 12 intro quest. And then there's level 18 and 19 players who have had to come back to get the Coast Runners. See, like, there we go. We lost a Coast Runner to a level 13 uh, because they're doing it for the first Murloc quest we get out here. And we're doing it for something much later on. Unfortunately, I do want to stay in this area until I get them all. That way, when we head back, we're just looking for warriors at that point. That'll make it a little bit easier. I should be able to find that many warriors on the long run back to the south, because it will be a long one. Needless to say, guys, I'm going to be really happy when we are done with Westfall and we're in Red Ridge and we have a bunch of stuff to do. That's that's going to be good. We could probably come over here and get the Mage Royal, but while we do that, are we going to miss any spawns? It's possible, yeah, we're going to miss stuff because we're, we're looking over here, but we have Coast Runners popping up way down there. Inventory is still full, so unless I have some Mage Royal already, this is not going to happen. And we only need one more, so... We just need to get lucky. <laughs> are we going to get lucky or are we going to be out here for 15 more minutes? So we got all the warriors we needed on the way back and I found a group for old Murkai. We camped his spawn point, which apparently, if you're looking for him, is right down here. And we need to make sure that we actually have inventory space to pick this up. I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, nope, not that. Uh, let's get rid of... Oh, jeez. I don't want to drop anything. Shiny Bobble will have to go for now. And there we go. Scale of Old Murkai. Uh, with that done, we can turn in all three quests here at the lighthouse. And we'll see if anything happens uh, after that. Not sure if any of these are going to spawn into any other quests. Keeper of the Flame, let's take the healing and the... Well, we get both scrolls. Inventory's full. This is killing me. Absolutely killing me. Okay, uh, yeah. Great. Perfect. I have nothing that I actually want to drop. Let's drop the Murloc Eye. Uh, let's drop the Lone Peace Bloom. Let's drop the Okra. And then maybe we can get these turned in. Uh, that shield is decent, but it has spirit on it. Uh, the shield we have has 361 armor, strength, and stamina. I think we're going to keep what we have, but we'll take it to sell it. And there we go. That, guys, is level 19. 
And those did not chain into anything that I noticed. So yeah, we don't have any quest going on right now in Westfall. There is the question of the escort quest and whether or not it's bugged or whether or not we need to just wait our turn, uh, etc. Uh, but for now, I'm going to hurt this back to Sentinel Hill. And we will just kind of go from there. I'm basically ready anytime this level to do dead mines. Going to try to plan for that later this afternoon. Sorry, this was kind of a rough episode. A lot of running around, a lot of weird cuts. Uh, I'm going to be happy once we are wrapped up here with questing in Westfall. We can get into Red Ridge and really just get immersed into things. As always, thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I really do appreciate it. Hope you are all having a good time in the Season of Mastery. And yeah, take care of yourselves out there. We will see you back here really soon. Bye now.